What's going on guys, Seth here for Tasty Loot Gaming, bringing you a TLG Reacts to Cyberpunk 2077 Night City Wire Special Xbox One X and Xbox Series X footage, which just dropped today. Uh, I saw this on Twitter earlier, and I was like, fuck, I gotta watch that. It's only 10 minutes long, but it's gonna be showing gameplay footage on console, which is very interesting uh, for me. Uh, but before we hop into this reaction, I wanna do a quick reminder for you guys to download and play uh, Bug Snacks if you got a PS5, um, Shadow of War, and Hollow Knight all offer for free on PlayStation Plus. Make sure to download those, play those, and come back at the end of this month for Plus Club. We're going to talk about those games, and I want to know your opinions on them as well. And our game of the month, randomly picked, is um, Cube World. Play that, or if you played in the past, you should play it again, because I guess they've changed it quite a bit. They have actually. I've played it. I know this. Uh, so make sure to check that out. Come back at the end of the month for Game of the Month. Uh, we'll be talking about that. We'll also be revealing your guys' pick for Game of the Month in December, which is the community pick, Game of the Month. The way you can vote for that in November, November only, on only November's episodes, is typing in GOTM for Game of the Month and the game you'd like to vote for. You get to vote once per video, and I will tally those up. And at the end of the month, I will... Uh, pick the top three most voted for games and we will randomly pick from those three the winner and you guys will have picked it and we will play it all throughout December and talk about it so make sure to come back for game of the month to find out who won that we actually have way more uh, games and votes this year than last year so it's uh, it's very interesting and honestly Aside from like one or two games that are on that list, I'm pretty stoked for anything on there. So uh, uh, you guys are picking really good games. Um, so really stoked for that. Uh, we have a Discord link down below. You can talk to us anytime, all time. We're on iTunes, Spotify, and other podcast platforms. If you prefer to listen to us, we have a Patreon link down below as well. If you'd like to support the channel further than liking, commenting, sharing this video with your friends, and subscribing if you haven't already. We're almost at 2,000... 2,000 subscribers. I'm so excited I can't talk, and I'd like to try and hit that sooner and later, because uh, it seems like the, by the time next year happens, it would be a great time to hit 2,000 subscribers, so uh, that'd be very cool. Alright, so uh, we have a video to watch. Uh, just came out. It is Cyberpunk 2077 Night City Wire Special Xbox One X and Xbox Series X footage. So we're going to be seeing Xbox One X and Series X. Um, which I'm actually really curious about. I want to see, uh, you know, how big of a difference it's going to be. It's going to be a huge difference, but um, just how massive of a difference it is. Because uh, just for transparency's sake, I'm going to be playing this on PC for sure. Um, I would humor picking it up on uh, PS5. I have a PS5 now, and uh, it probably will look fine on there. But I want to play it on PC. I feel like I'm going to get the most, uh, you know, the highest graphics you can get on their... Um, you know, if it has some dual sense uh, features, I would really like that. Um, but I am curious to see how it looks on on console because these next gen consoles, um, I guess current gen consoles, are very uh, impressive so far. They, I mean, they're playing really good looking games. I mean, have you seen Demon Souls? It's it's fucking gorgeous looking. Um, so I'm really curious to see what it looks like on there. Um, I did originally have the collector's edition thing for Cyberpunk pre-ordered through GameStop. Fucking, and they, they, they got rid of it without telling me. They're just like, oh, hey, that thing doesn't exist. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. They got to deal with one of the delays when that happened. There's like, well, we had you uh, signed up for this date. And since that's not going to happen, we don't got to give you shit. Which was not a cool thing to do, GameStop. I'm not happy about that. All right, enough talking. Let's just jump into this video. See what we see. Talk about what we see. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, and start. Hello and welcome to a special Night City Wire video that we've had a lot of requests for. With Cyberpunk 2077 now launching on December 10th, she a moved few her of you have been waiting or, to see no, no, the game last one running was here on too, console. I think. So we've teamed she up with our hallway. friends she was in Xbox one time. to bring you Xbox One X and Xbox Series X gameplay. Cool. The gameplay footage starts with a questline called Automatic Love. 
where V is attempting to hunt down a missing person via any means necessary. So Xbox One X. Now, in the interest of time, looks and good to me. Spoilers, we have edited this footage, but it does mean that you'll still have plenty to discover when you play it for yourself on December 10th. The gameplay will be switching between Xbox One X and Xbox Series X. Oh, how varied the vehicles are. The like that he's just parked in the road. Love how detailed the world is. So fucking cool. Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. It is. It is good Nobody shit. Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. Cuts virtues like this. This looks pretty decent, honestly. Damn straight. I would be happy to play this game like this. Now, because there are options to not play like this, I will want to do that. So we're looking at Series X now. One thing I've already noticed is uh, reflections on the surface of the car are much more reflective and detailed. So you're getting uh, probably ray tracing going on there. Uh, the lights are more, um, they have a better glow to them. So you're getting that like HDR uh, effect. Uh, also, it's much more uh, anti-aliased. You're seeing less jagged, uh, Edges to the Got geometry of the world. The lady of when you find so the it's definitely it better looking. I'm still, I still think the Xbox One X gameplay looked, I mean, well. fine. This does look better though. Until then. Don't even want to find you. The way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. Same, bro. What have I missed this time? Enlighten me. Damn, that chick is high commercial. No coincidence on the wall. Two tiger claws. They must control the building. You think Judy's lying? Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. I'm gonna say it like I say in every single video. I can't so wait to up. play this. You take a blow up doll, remodel the hole, and, and that's cheap. That's infidelity. Yeah, this looks great. No. The world's so detailed. I love it. Clouds, clouds. Okay, Series X. Better reflections, better lighting for sure. Smoother looking. Less jagged what edges, like I said before. Anything, whatever Seems to be the bigger differences here. You better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much. Even for me. I don't know if it's the difference between that scene and the scene prior, but it seems like um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Um, his animations are better. Sure, I don't know if that's uh, the difference between the consoles. Could very well be, or if it's just Sorry, the scenes no what I'm and how much do. work they put into both. <laughs> yeah, I have that bike. Or parts of the it. game. Allowed in here. What are you snacking on? Here and close the door on the way out, would ya? Or as you can see, I'm very busy. It's like you're out of breath, dog.
right back at ya. Well, I'm glad to see whoever's playing got that achievement. It's cool to see gameplay that's not like, um, I mean, this is obviously edited just to get show you, like, you know, direct parts of the game, but um, it's kind of cool to see someone play the fucking game. It's something they haven't really done a whole lot. That's how the original, you know, like, long uh, gameplay video that came out, but since then, it's all been, like, you know, clipped up uh, videos. Series X again. I'm seeing this, like, light flare on the screen, which I wasn't seeing before. Also, something I'm noticing, thank you, CD Projekt Red, for putting ambient sound in the game. It's amazing how many games don't have this. It sounds like there's people all over the place. And that creates an atmosphere that makes it feel like this place is, you know busy, full of life, people are doing things. I hate playing, and it's, it's fucking more games than not, I hate playing games that are just like silent, all you hear is just like, there's people standing around but they're not making noise, just NPCs, and like you just hear footsteps, and that's it. And I'm like, God, it's so, it's the opposite of immersive, it's so fucking weird. And you just the cutest thing. If you're looking for a release, yes, I just might I be am. your man. Kindly get the fuck out of my way. Yo, you hear what this bitch said to me? Best watch your tongue. I'd say it again, but what for? Your little skull sponge can't possibly get its gray cells around it. Oh, that, that, uh, that got crazy quick. I guess if you walk in just talking shit like that, um, it's it's gonna end in people just shooting each other. Always does. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want: to be flattered, praised, patted, to feel like like they deserve it. Of course. I can't remember each and every one. Even if it's a Every NPC in this game looks you. completely different, has their own animations, has like the facial mocapping going on, has different voices, like they all feel like different people. It's 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 nice. It just shows the attention to detail the CD Project Red is willing to put into their games. Um, I'm so used to games with like, you know, re repeated NPCs and that's fine. I'm sure I'll see them in this too, but like Everything I've seen so far, it's just, it's just, there's just so much variety, constantly, that I'm just, I'm so excited to fucking play it. It's really setting the bar high, really high for other games that are trying to be these, like, open world, choose your own adventure RPGs that Bethesda kind of, you know, made popular and then abandoned. I also like how their faces are like either have holograms or they're hacked. They've hacked you or something so you can't see their face. Pretty neat. Kind of stop paying attention to which one is which. I'm just kind of watching the footage at this point. So this is just to remind everybody that when Cyberpunk launches, it will work on both current and next-gen consoles. For example, if you pick it up on Xbox One, it will also work on Xbox Series X and Series S. And it's the same for other consoles. Plus, there will be a free and full next-gen upgrade coming sometime next year. We're incredibly excited to welcome you to Night City when Cyberpunk launches on December 10th. And I'll be back with Night City Wire Episode 5 on November 9th. I forgot 19th. they're going to add a thing later to make it next-gen. Which makes sense. You'll be able to like, crank the, the graphics all the, all the way. Which explains why um, so much of that video, when I was looking at the two, the things that were different 
mostly were just like if you took a slider on PC and you turned up the graphics a little bit. It might not actually be ray tracing. Like earlier, I wasn't sure if it was ray tracing I was seeing, but it does look like they, they turn the graphics up. So maybe the, the next gen upgrade will turn on all the effects and stuff. You'll be able to get on PC on the next gen consoles because it's going to work on both at first. Um, both uh, current and next gen or current gen and last gen consoles, however we're going to say that now. But, um, but it's very interesting because uh, kind of the thing I kept seeing there is um, again, like I said, if you just went into the options on a PC game and kind of turn some of the sliders up, it looks like, you know, the anti-aliasing is up higher because you can see on surfaces and, and edges, uh, less jagged uh, edges, um, lighting looks better, and uh, it, the glowing effects look a lot better um, when it comes to the lighting as well. Outside of that, and, and then movements stuff like that look smoother too. Those are all things that you can just easily adjust. Um, Outside of that, I think the Xbox One X version looks really good as well. Um, it is definitely different looking, though. Um, there's some stuff there you can definitely see is different looking. Um, it does look better on Series uh, X, um, which is to be expected. And it's exciting to know that they will be um, upgrading that. Yeah, the lighting looks a lot more dynamic on his face as opposed to earlier when I was looking at him. Here it is. And look at him. Look over at him. Yeah, it just seems to be a little less dynamic in the lighting. A little muddier. So, all in all, uh, the, the the graphics on both look completely acceptable and something I would definitely play. Um, it's very cool to know that you can buy this on either console and uh, know that not only is it going to play great and look great on both consoles, that it is also future-proof. You, when you buy it, you're going to be able to play it on next-gen when you get next-gen, um, and uh, you're set with that game, and you will get that free upgrade uh, to make the game uh, you know, even better looking on next-gen, which is really cool to hear, but not surprising at all from CD Projekt Red. Uh, the biggest thing I took away from this video, though, is uh, just seeing the world more. I love seeing this world as something I'm very excited to uh, explore playing this game. Um, I love everything about it. It's just, everything about it just makes me want to see every single thing that I can, have every adventure I can, and uh, you know, just uh, level up and, and get all the equipment I can. Uh, I want everything from this world. I'm really excited to uh, play this game. So that was really cool to see. Watching him drive around town, like right here, is really neat looking. Uh, seeing some of the more um, I guess cutscene-esque stuff is cool. Uh, some of the locations, very cool looking. I love the look of everything, of course, but more specifically, like all these like spheres, these uh, these balls that are, that are lighting up the room is really neat. Everything's got a very uh, metropolitan sci-fi uh, club vibe to it that's uh, very cool. Seeing new characters is definitely cool to see. Uh, makes me excited in the sense that... Um, like I said earlier, there's a huge variety in the people and um, I, I guess everything, but but the people specifically, huge variety in, in uh, who you're going to be talking to and how they're going to interact with you. Seeing um, V talk with uh, those guys in the alleyway and having those choices and one of them essentially was just like double down on your insult back at them. Uh, it's cool because it's led to conflict instantly. Maybe you don't want to fuck deal with that shit and you prefer to uh, say something to upset them enough to merit uh, action versus maybe going, eh, yeah, whatever, and just moving on with your life or maybe saying something that uh, leads to a different outcome that's uh, more diplomatic uh, is very cool to see. Um, and I feel like the game's going to be full of that. They keep showing this stuff. And uh, it's so impressive to see, like, the different looks of characters, the different animations, the amount of mo-capping and every single interaction that you're going to be uh, having. Um, let's look at these options real quick. I'm pausing. Let's see. Uh, I don't want any trouble looking for fingers. So that one's just like, hey, you said that weird shit, but I'm actually here for something. And then you got fuck off, which led to the you know altercation. And then don't start, which uh, seems like they have three out of five something. Uh, so that seems to be something that you can uh, be better or worse at uh, attempting, depending on your stats, which is pretty typical of a uh, game like this. Um, that's very cool. Very cool. Gunplay looks good. 
Sword play looks uh, good. Um, everything everything looks good. The game looks fucking fantastic. And I'm going to say it again. Can't wait to play this game. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's coming out when they say it this time. I have a good feeling about this one. I feel like they, they're they running out of uh, time. to not Not time, but... They're running out of excuses to keep giving people, um, to uh, to keep delaying this. Um, I did hear that they delayed it because of uh, the current gen consoles. I believe, I believe that is, or is it consoles in general? I know a lot of PC people were bitching because they're like, "Well, just release it on PC if it's a console problem." I'm like, yeah, "They can't do that." Um, that would, you know, delay for some of you guys, but not everybody. That'd be very upsetting. I can't see them doing something like that. All in all, this is very cool to watch. Um, I would say I'd like to see like a PS4, PS5 comparison video just to see how it looks, but I, I'm sure it's going to look very similar to this. So it'd be kind of a waste of time unless it was brand new footage. I would absolutely be open to watching that. But um, yeah, very cool, very exciting. Love everything I'm seeing here, and I'm glad to see that on the consoles, people playing it there are going to be getting a great experience that looks fantastic and looks like it plays great. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this video, uh, the Night City Wire Special Xbox One X and Series X footage. What do you think about it? What are your favorite parts of it? Anything you're kind of worried about? Are you playing it on Xbox? Uh, which Xbox are you going to play it on? Are you going to be playing it on PS4, PS5, or are you playing it on PC like me? And... Uh, yeah, anything else you're excited for? Anything you want to see before this game releases or are you just ready for this game to fucking come out? Let me know everything you're thinking about in the comments below. But that's going to do it for this episode of TLG Reacts. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this episode. Make sure to check out our other episodes. Check us out on Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, not Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok at Tasty Loot Gaming. Um, check, check out my streams. Links down below. And uh, we have a Discord link down below. You can talk to us anytime, all time. We're on iTunes, Spotify, and other podcast platforms if you prefer to listen to us. And we have a Patreon link down below if you'd like to support the channel further than liking, commenting, sharing this video. Um, yeah. My name's Seth. Until the next episode, uh, have a good week, guys, and take it easy.